Hi, for this video what we have is we have an airplane that's leaving a destination and it's going to fly to Tokyo and then it's going to turn and also fly back. Okay, um, the trip there was with the wind. That means the wind is at the back and it's pushing it forward. Um, and the trip back was into the wind, which means that the wind is going to slow it down. So with this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a little table so that we have our rate, our time, and our distance, which is equal to the rate times the time. And we have two Tokyo, and we have back from. Okay, as far as the time goes for this one, it's very easy because it just tells us that the trip took eight hours um, going to Tokyo and it took 11 hours coming back from Tokyo. The wind averaged 27 miles per hour. So for this, this is telling us that the wind, which is going to impact our rate, um, averaged 27 miles per hour. Going with the wind, that means that you're going to have the rate of the plane plus the wind speed is going to be 27 hour, or 27 miles per hour. And then against the wind, that means that you have the rate of the plane and you're going to subtract the weight of the wind because it's going to be pushing against the plane. Any time that you are going against, the time should take longer. So that makes sense the way that we have it set up. So with this, what we have is we would do 8R or 8 times R plus 27. And we would do 11 times R minus 27. So if I go ahead and distribute those values in just to make it easier to work with, we would have 8R plus 216. And we would have 11R minus 297. So what we would do now is we know that the distance there and the distance back are going to be equal to each other. So we would just set up the equation 8R plus 216 is equal to 11R minus 297. And then we would just solve this problem. So we would just take and subtract the 8R from both sides. And the reason I'm subtracting the 8R is because it's smaller. And that way I have a positive value. Um, and at the same time, we want to move the non-variable terms to the other side. So I would add the 297 to both sides. And when I do that, I end up with 513. And then our last step would just be to get R by itself. So I would divide both sides by 3. So we could say that R is equal to 171 miles per hour. So... For this one, if you write it in a sentence form, you basically just restate the question. So we could say the speed of the plane in still air. And still air just means that relative to the ground, how fast is it going if it were traveling in a vacuum? Um, so the speed of the plane in still air is 171 miles per hour. So on average, the airplane traveled at 171 miles per hour. As always, if you have any questions or if you have other topics that you need me to cover, please just let me know and thanks for watching.